wadau mambo vipi it's saturday tarehe 25 a very good evening to you from wherever you are tuning in this is Eric Bosire live for the very very first time tunajaribu hapa mambo ya podcast mtuambie sauti zikoje kama ziko fiti what we need to rectify and of course remember on our social media pages hapo ndio tutakuwa tunakuletea content moja fiti sana will be engaging of course uh, members of the public we shall be engaging you as our viewer and as well we shall be engaging uh, people of human uh, that have public interest so kuna mambo mengi ambayo yamekuwa yakifanyika nchini uh, that we shall be discussing in the next uh, one hour or 30 minutes or so but remember to follow us on our social media pages pale mtandao wa YouTube Eric Bosire live please consider subscribing because i never fail you i shall be bringing you up to speed of what is happening in the country especially trending issues yale ambayo yanatukumba sisi kama wa Kenya yale ambayo yanatu affect sisi kama content creators wana habari and so much more then on facebook Eric Bosire live on TikTok journalist Eric Bosire and then on Instagram na vile vile mtandao wa X uweze kutufuata we shall be giving you all that and much more so recently I'm at the latest trending issue in this country ni about what is affecting our digital content creators and by that I mean wale ambao wanatengeneza video kama hii kwa njia mtandao which they say the future is online so we saw on their pages uh, various media personalities including Oga Obina who hosts uh, various shows on his channels the Obinas Obina TV the weekly show ambayo pia wanafanya na demo wa Facebook akiandikiwa barua and the letter was coming from the Kenya Film and Classification Board chair Abel Mtua requiring them to comply by activating their licenses but i was wondering kufanya interview squeeze is it film and how, is, how are they supposed to be complying with that that also uh, came to abel mtua ambaye anafanya nga sana sana video za uh, youtube and uh, zinakuanga stories sana tuchapia nga stories on what what really happened ana tu explain yanga vitu mingi kuna channel yake na wife wake na mtoi wake mumbus and then kuna njugush and then kuna tom daktari and then kuna watu wengi ambao wameweza kuwa affected sami kioko ambaye anafanya film and very many many artists na content creators in the country so in that letter most of them most of the kenyans have responded on what exactly happened and they are saying especially on Oga Obina that maybe ni kwa sababu amemeka ama ameanza ku pick we all know Oga Obina from Churchill show to Kiss FM to Kula Kula show eh, and what they have been doing on content but he yake ilikuwa imepick vibaya sana we've seen him do a lot of interviews eh, every monday anafanya nga live interviews recorded interviews and we have also seen him do content with his children or his kids We've all seen him do content with them on Facebook. Ambaye pia naweza sema amemuinua sana. So Kenyans on TikTok on Twitter that is X on YouTube were responding when Ogobina posted that. Akasema mazemu ni chanoe what exactly is happening. And most of the Kenyans are like kwani mtu akianza ku make kwa hii country ama akianza ku pick anaanza kuwa fort ama anafaitiwa sana na na gava. So according to me I feel like the Kenyan youth and the content creators should be given a platform a chance not to be taxed and not to be restricted on what they are doing because that is the only platform yenye tunaambiwanga kwamba tuje employ mavijana tuje employ lakini tuki date back history means ya uh, when our wase wanasimamia facebook wa, watu wa youtube walikuja kenya and they had a meeting at the state house Nairobi thereafter president William Ruto invited most of the content creators Eve Mungai was there director Trevor was there and all content creators the celebrities that you know name them and then the deliberations were where Eddie Butita who's also accompanied the president to the US 
for his official state visit they they they, they came up with a rule that they want to to pass in parliament kwamba content creators were taxed 15% of what they get then kwa na issues kwa na issues waka agree kwa 1.5% remember when you, you when you upload content on youtube youtube yenyewe iko na iko na vile ina tax from those who own youtube wana tax then you get your money that you made through the month wana kuwekea kwa account so that means you will be getting double tax and then now sasa wamefikia mali wanasema you need to get your license for film and everything so i've been wondering is it one way that the government wants to tax ama wameona au mavijana wanatengeneza pesa mzuri kuliko even the government itself because it's for a fact content is the future actually it is it is what is selling currently if you see the views that an individual is getting on his personal account is even more than what a mainstream house can get so kenyans have been reacting giving their views that should not be happening that should be happening but then this happened when the president and also the chair of content creators or the self proclaimed chair of the content creators in the country dibutita on an official trip on the united states of america lakini mimi kitu naweza sema serikali inafaa kuacha uh, mavijana wale ambao wanajituma kwa sababu content creators wengi kenya ni mavijana you can you can really find an old man or an old mzee an old woman doing content the likes of Herman Manyora of course hao ni hao ni wazee wazee kidogo but mostly 70% of them ni mavijana so mimi kama Eric i feel like the government should give us liberty because we also take our time do you know what it takes for one to create content and being consistent for instance on youtube there are a number of rules that you must follow for you to get an earning through youtube number one you must be the origin of the content you must create your original content eh uh, kitu kama anastoto ya edibutita that's a film that includes actors directors videographers eh uh, what what a whole set you can imagine for it to produce a content 24 30 minutes that is going on youtube so it's not easy what one other need to create content is just one or two you require a lot for you to host a show kama ya ogaobina ama obina show live for you to go live you need gadgets that are very expensive you need cameras not more than not less than three. you need to have a location and maybe to some extent unalipia you call these guests some of them never even turn up and then you go ahead thinking that these people are just making money uh raise raise it it's not easy man now what to most of them wanna struggle sana for you to sell on youtube you must be very consistent you must be very consistent you must be very consistent you must give us captivating content not just any other content and also you must give us quality that's why most content online content creators must invest on audio you must invest on video you must invest on editing so it's a, it's a, it's a whole lot of things that is um, enabling these members the or the content creators to to create their content lakini watu wengine wanachukulia ni rais rais i really urge the government to to reconsider in collaboration with the Kenya Film and Classification Board KFCB to look on ways that they can cater for these youths which are the majority in the country and the future is online of course you can you, you can create your content using just a phone but if it is going to be taxed you are going to get nothing from there they 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 say that facebook was to be monetized till now we've not seen it getting monetized tiktok is never monetized and you can really earn money from twitter and on instagram so most people are depending on youtube and then you are going ahead to tax them what do you think eh abel mtu pia alieka kwenye mtandao wa tiktok niliona niliona kina njugush who have been in the industry for the longest time wakilalamika sana and uh, we don't know what it's going to hold for them but uh, niliona some of the content creators wakipata na na na, na Ezekiel Mtua 
wakamuuliza eh, special for Oga Obina then tuliona Eric Komondi actually came out akasema yeye hawezi hawezi andikiwa barua kama hiyo kwa sababu atawapeleka mbio sana but i feel this content uh, our, our, our economy as content creators we also need to come up uh, formulate a policy to kuwa na sisi rules na, na, na rules and guidelines zenye zina to guide as uh, as the, as the mainstream media does because wako na media council of kenya wako na kenya union of journalists and all those wako na bodies rules acts na vitu zote zenye zina wa guide and that is why we are getting affected as a country because we don't have a framework yenye tunaenda tuna condemn na tuna refer to an act tunasema maybe according to act 3 of the Kenyan content creation you shall not demand a letter na kufanya hivi na hivi because kama ogaobina alipewa na ultimate of 14 days to comply and for your information for you to comply with that you have to pay so that you get a license that is renewable every year ama annually But anyway, let's wait and see. That's all I had for today about the creation of content in this country. But as well, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tutakuwa tunakuambia stories what is happening in the country. We shall be telling you about uh, the tough questions that I about Kadir Citizen TV's news anchor was asking President William Ruto when they were at the United States of America. We shall be telling you about our personal profiles where we've come from how we've grown and what exactly we do we shall also be bringing members to our discussion table so that we ask them questions in life in our pelekaje my youth and everything and also we shall be looking at talents eh what wanafanya nini hapo nje kuwa na living that's all for now dr bosire there eric bosire live kwenye mtandao wa youtube subscribe Let's meet in the next video.